Starting this vlog right with some stormy content. Why'd you wake up? I'm just vlogging. Keep pretending that you're sleeping so you look cute. Go back, go back to sleeping so you look... Stormy, go back to sleeping so you look cute for the video. Storm, go, go back. Good afternoon, morning. I just finished my workout and um, obviously I'm gonna make a protein shake with fat-free milk because uh, we don't want those fats over here. Fats, ew. And I made some homemade coffee with oat milk and it's so good. <laughs> it's so good, I love homemade coffee. It's not like I bought coffee outside yesterday at Dunkin' and it's, Definitely a lot better than the shit that I made home. So now I'm forced to drink this so then I can finish my Dunkin' coffee or I can just... You know, people are starving out there. Am I... People are really starving out there and I'm over here throwing away my coffee? The things that I do to make myself feel better. Now I have to finish the shitty coffee. Anyways, good afternoon, guys. Wait, I couldn't help but show you guys. Look at how bomb this looks. Look at how fucking bomb this looks. Oh my God, it's the new coffee from Dunkin', the toasted white chocolate. Toasted white chocolate in comparison to a homemade oat milk, toffee nut, coffee, yum. By the way, I just realized that I'm using fat-free milk here for my protein shake, but both of my coffees are full of sugar. Gotta stay skinny somehow. <laughs> happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> that was a fake happy Halloween because I'm sad. I've been living here for, for over three years and I've still never celebrated Halloween because I got no friends. And if you're asking what I'm doing in the bathroom, uh, I have to clean my cat's shit. And you know what I thought about today? How come I've never seen these YouTubers clean their cat's shit? Like, oh, they're always acting like they're struggling. But these motherfuckers are never cleaning their cat's shit. Or how about they've never done the dishes? These fuckers act like they're struggling. And then you know what they do? After the camera's off, they hire a maid and then the maid does everything around the house. Look at me being a relatable YouTuber though. I'm doing chores around the house because Halloween, I guess. I'm cleaning my bed, so I have to shake these sheets outside. It's a beautiful day. Why is it so fucking cold inside though? And Stormy's over there. Can you even see her? Doing absolutely nothing but chilling in her bed. Look at how beautiful it is outside. The fact that I can show you where I live and you guys would never figure it out because I live in the middle of nowhere. I'm probably the only YouTuber that I can show where I live. And you guys would never guess where the fuck I live. This is sad. Pull up in it, mm, it's so, mm, mm. Put it in autopilot, let's do it, baby. Also, the reason why I wanted to do this vlog today, it's not even a vlog, it's a rant that I have no friends. This is my office, or well, I should call it my room where I do my videos. Oh, why am I showing? Oh shit, I should not be showing the floor because it's dirty and I don't have a maid to clean everything. Where's my maid? Hello? Can you come clean my shit? You know what's the most exciting thing that I'm doing today? I'm actually going to Chipotle because they have like $5 off a burrito and usually that shit is like about $9 with tax. So $5 off, I'll take it. That's the most exciting thing that I'm doing for Halloween. Also, here's an office tour. Uh, these are some Japanese paintings that I just think they look kind of cool. Nothing much to show. A uh, huge ceiling, two more paintings over there. And it's actually a really small office. I know it looks big. That's me, wait, can I zoom in? Hold up, hold up guys. That's me. That's my area where I work. Look at how dusty this is. I'm not even joking, guys. I'm so fucking lazy. I should clean this up. I also have a picture of my family there and the wig.
Oh my God, I just realized something. Holy shit, I just realized something. So you know this wig? I've had it, it's, today's the 10th anniversary. I've had this fucking wig for a year. I bought this last Halloween at Dollar General. I think it was on discount for $5. <gasps> I bought this shit for $5 last year. I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but it's technically Halloween today. Look at how bad it looks now. I'm gonna insert a clip right now where you can see when I first used this. But now, this looks like absolute shit. You can find pieces of this wig like everywhere around the house. Sometimes I find pieces of this wig when I'm eating in my food. <laughs> this is garbage. I'm still using it because why buy another one when it's gonna look like this anyways, right? So we're gonna be stuck with this wig for another five years probably. I know that a lot of people ask me to do like a house tour, but I think that'd be kind of kind of cringy and tacky. Showing my house is like, oh guys, look, my house looks a lot better than yours. Look at me, I'm showing off. Like a lot of YouTubers do that and I feel like shit looking at other people's houses because it just makes me realize that they're fucking rich and I'm not. And that pisses me off. When I see rich people being rich and I'm not rich, and I'm like, why the fuck are these motherfuckers rich when they're doing absolutely nothing all day, but they're still rich and have rich houses? but I'm not rich. So then being rich annoys me. I don't think I'm poor, but I'm not rich either. And I gotta admit, I do live in a good looking house. And if I, I feel like if I show my house, it just be so tacky. Like, hey guys, look at my house. My house looks so pretty and so much better than yours. So I don't feel like doing that. I, I'm, I don't know. I, I just feel weird about it. So I bought Stormy this. Yeah, you heard your name. I bought Stormy this toy. It was like 10 bucks and she chewed this up. This looks like shit now. Look at this. It's full of spit. Where are your manners? So this thing spins. Hold up. It spins, right? Yeah. Like she looks at it, but she doesn't play. Oh. She's waking up. She's waking up, uh-huh. And, and, I think she's about to play. No, she's not, no. So she just, she just looks at it. She's like, oh, you bought that toy from me, fam? You spent 10 bucks on that? That's cool. I'm just gonna stare at it. She goes inside, but she doesn't play with it. She plays with that toy more when it's off rather than it being on. Also, I'm really strict with my lunch. I like to eat lunch between 3 o'clock to 3.30 max. Otherwise, I get really hungry. So I'll see you guys when I make my lunch. I've never made lunch before on camera. So hopefully this doesn't turn out to be like a really boring vlog. Guys, I really apologize that I'm not rich and I'm not going out buying expensive shit to show you guys. <laughs> Welcome back to a special episode of Cooking with Lazy where we're actually not cooking. I'm just gonna show you guys what I eat six out of seven days. Basically, long story short, salad. Now, I don't eat salad because, oh, salad is good. Salad just tastes so fucking good. No, ew, fuck salad. I eat salad because I'm trying to stay skinny so desperately. I really am and I exercise so much and I'm not trying to fuck up my body. So I'm forced to eat salad. So that was a workout. I do want to mention that most of the things that I use to make my salad are organic because when I moved here, I realized that US allows a lot of pesticides and hormones in their food while Europe doesn't. Europe is a lot more strict with the things that they put in food. So 
seeing so many people here have different types of diseases, I'm like, fuck that shit. So I'm forced to eat organic here. America allows shitty ingredients and hormones, so I just have to watch out. Honestly, I don't eat organic all the time. It's basically just my salad, while I do go out sometimes, like once a week, because I can't just eat salad every fucking day. Listen, I'm not telling you what to eat. You can eat whatever the fuck you want. You can honestly eat shit all of your life and nothing happens to you. So eat whatever you want. I'm just trying not to take that risk. So this is what I do basically six out of seven days. It takes me like 40 minutes to make this stupid salad. And also while I'm making this salad, I do talk to my parents. I FaceTime them. But today I'm recording for you guys, so you better feel appreciated. The fact that I'm not talking to my parents right now, but I'm recording for you guys, that's some special shit. So what are you guys eating? Are you eating anything? Are you eating like something delicious and not a fucking salad? Honestly, I wish. When I go back to Europe, I eat whatever the fuck I want, because I know because I know the food is a little better when it comes to them not using hormones and that shit. But here, I have to watch out. Fuck, I'm so scared to eat shit here. Watching so many TikToks and people saying, oh, I have this disease and I have that disease. And I truly believe it's the diet and genetics. What the fuck are you doing? She just broke the new toy that I showed you guys. She literally just broke that shit. I paid $10 for that shit and you broke it. Trigger warning. Dead bee? Wasp? I didn't even kill it. This bitch somehow got in here. Like, how did you get... Huh? Guys, how? How the fuck did she get in here? I... I'm confused. How the fuck did you struggle to get in here? And then you just end up dying. So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Go there and get it. Go there and get it. You can only order it online. Okay, so be kind when you get it. But you can't even open the fucking app. It's back, it's back, let's go, 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 go. It's broken again. Let's keep trying, I'll drive you, keep trying. No, I can, but I can't get anything without ordering online first. So then you'll try it on our way there. If you get it while we're driving, okay. If not, we'll wait in the parking lot and get it. Just wait there like a fuck. Like bunch a fucking moat. Come on. Like a bunch you. of fucking losers. Like with no, we have no order. So what? Oh my god. Well, that's it for the vlog, I guess. I finally got my Chipotle bag. The place was crowded. The app wasn't working because so many people were in the app, so I had to go to their website and order it from there. Chipotle was a mess today. I hope you guys enjoyed this boring vlog. I know it was kind of boring and sad in a way. I don't, I don't want you guys to feel bad for me that I had no one to celebrate Halloween, even though I had no one to celebrate Halloween with. And honestly, I did get kind of jealous because I saw one of my friends, he was celebrating it. I was over here doing nothing. Also though, I do want to mention that I was talking to some of you guys in the comment section and I really do feel like I have this special bond with you guys. And I'm not just saying that because all oh, you guys subscribed and, and you watch me all day. Like I really do feel like my audience is amazing with the comments that I get. Like who needs friends, right? Fuck friends, I got you guys. That's like the loneliest and saddest shit I've ever said. But. It's true, I guess. Anyways, if you want more vlogs, not this kind of vlog, this was sad. <laughs> Please hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon. I'll see you on the next one. I upload frequently. People think I'm joking when I say I have no life, but I literally have no life.